And currently, the woman with a two-shot lead, Lottie Wode, joins us right here on set live from at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Lottie, we're so pleased to have you with us, especially on such a busy day. I know that you've already played your entire practice round. Just describe what this day today for you was like at an Augusta National Golf Club, and what was the most important thing for you to take away from it? Um, I think any day playing Augusta National is going to be a pretty good day, so I was just enjoying playing the course and just really focusing on like my lines off the tee, um, places to miss it around the greens, because there's definitely certain places you do not want to miss it on this course. So um, using the stuff I learned from last year about this course and just trying to put a plan together, really. Lottie, every single time you tee it up, you're, you're in the hunt. Uh, you're either winning or you're right there. Uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses, and, and what is working so well for you right now? Um, my strengths is usually like my approach play. I usually hit a lot of greens, um, try and like minimize mistakes and give myself a lot of birdie chances. My weakness is usually my weak, how, whether I win or not can depend on how I part usually. Um, but this week I've, I've been putting pretty nicely. Like it's feeling, it's feeling good. So I'm hoping that continues. <laughs> Lottie, I know you have a lot of special people with you here this week and your 85-year-old grandmother made her first trip to America. I have to ask, how, how is she enjoying herself? <laughs> I think she's loving it. Um, she, I think she did, like, Champions Retreat's a really long walk and very hilly. Um, I think she did nine holes the first round. I think yesterday she did maybe 12 or 13, but she says she's going to walk 18 um, tomorrow, so... We're going to see if that happens or not. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of a long walk, the last few days have required so much energy from you. And then, of course, the practice round today, we were just speaking that you decided not to play the par three later today. That's something that players have been able to do for the first time. Uh, just explain why you decided not to play and what your plan is for the rest of the day as you prepare for the final round. Yeah, so I was meant to play the par three at 2.30, which is pretty soon. So... Um, I kind of opted out of that. Um, I wanted to get some parts in, uh, due to changing the green surfaces, obviously different to Champions Retreat. Uh, then a little bit of swing work, and I just thought um, I had more important things to maybe focus on than playing the Far Free course. Thinking about this golf course, what do you have a favorite shot out there that's the easiest for you to hit? And do you have a shot out there that uh, is more challenging for you to hit on this golf course? Um, I feel like one of the, the harder tee shots is, is 13. Um, if you want to be able to get on in two, you really need to like hook it around the corner. Um, I don't usually play too much shape with my driver, so I have to exaggerate that a little bit, but I might not actually hit driver there. It depends on the wind direction. Is your typical shot shape a left or right? Um, usually my driver has not got much shape on it, honestly, at all. It depends on the hole. Like I, I, I like to work it both ways. Like on Champions Retreat, there's a couple of holes that required a fade, so I played that. Some holes that required a draw, so I played that. But they only really need a fade off 18 uh, of this course, so. Yeah. Buddy, what's the most nervous you've felt on a golf course, and, and how will you use that experience to help you tomorrow? Um, probably in the British girls' final. It was, it was like my first uh, like big junior win, um, and it being a 36-hole final was like a very long day. Um, so probably that. But like over a single shot, honestly, one of the most nervous I've been was I had a five-foot part last year to make the cut on the number. And I was, like, trembling over the, over the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of last year, you end up finishing 13th. But today, when you went out and got to see the course, what, what did you see, if at all, that was different from your experience here last year? Um, honestly, it, was, it seemed pretty the same as I remembered it. Um, the lines I'd written in my old course plan, which I had with me on the course today, was they, they seemed correct. Uh, nothing seemed to have changed in that sense. So I was kind of sticking to that plan since I played this course quite it was probably the course I played better last year so um, just trying to do the same really. And, and just to follow up on that uh, speaking of last year how would you say that you've just grown as a person changed it's a year it is a long time to develop in your your golf game and who you are as a human being so who is the Lottie Wode that arrived at Augusta National this morning versus last year? Um, I think I had a lot more experience since last year um, being at college for over a year now, um, playing in lots of events, playing with all the best players in the world, just uh, the experience of putting myself in the right places, um, in contention, just getting comfortable with that, really. I feel like last year, um, if I was in this position, I'd be, be a little less comfortable, so I'm just kind of drawing on those experiences. There are so many young women out there hoping to be a, a Lottie Wode in five, ten years down the road, uh, just looking at your golf swing. 
uh, on YouTube this morning. Maybe we could pull it up here uh, and have a look at it. Uh, this is, I think, from a couple of years ago, and I think it's from your home golf club. Oh. Uh, and you are taking a rip at the golf ball. Is this? It, what's this swing right here? I mean, that's just getting after it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is, is that? Are you are you working on distance all the time, or is? Um, I mean, I, I don't really hold back with driver. Um, <laughs> you get but, after it. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably always working on distance because it's such an important factor in, in the game mm -hmm. and it can definitely separate you. Um, but, yeah, in terms of my follow-through, I get a lot of questions like, like, does it hurt? And I'm like, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't really feel it. I, like, no one thinks about their follow-through, so it's just like what happens, really. So your development when you were growing up, what kind of things did your, as Bethann was just talking about your teacher, what kind of things did your teacher work with you on and, and uh, sort of underpin in your development? Um, well, obviously we worked on technique, but like everyone worked on technique. Um, probably just being able to hit different shots. Um, like I can hit lots of fades, draws like low, high, like be able to have all the shots in the back. So all those nine shots. It's, yeah, yeah, like that, that's what we, we work on a lot. Um, particularly, I, especially in the summer, we play a lot of links golf, so we're playing in the wind a lot. So being able to play all those different punch shots, take the spin off, um, which helped yesterday. <laughs> Very beautiful. Now you have a daughter, sorry, a, a, a younger sister uh, named Millie. Yeah. And now Millie's got one up on you, doesn't she? How, how does she have one up on you? Um, she's gonna love me for saying this. Um, she, she got a hole in one at, at Farnham, our home course, when she was probably around 12. And I'm 20 and I haven't had one, so. And, and, and like, she, she doesn't even play. Like, she's a social golfer. She'll rock up once a month and tee it up and shoot her handicap. And just like, she's like, yeah, I've got the natural talent, but I just can't be to practice. So it's, I need to eventually get one. I've, I've had one with my second golf ball, but I know that doesn't count. So. <laughs> Lenny, are you a leaderboard watcher? Do you, will you want to know where you stand going down the stretch? Yeah, I, I am a leaderboard watcher. Um, particularly yesterday, um, when I was two over through the front nine, which I consider probably the easier nine, I thought um, I was not doing very well. And then I looked at the leaderboard, um, and I was probably around fifth, sixth at the time. So that kind of made me realize that you need to stop being a little too harsh on yourself. <laughs> and try, and you're just still in the tournament. So um, I do like to know where I am, so I know especially on this course where you have to go for certain stuff or not. Is there a, a past or current player that you draw inspiration from in the game? Um, I don't know. Um, probably in the, in the female game, uh, Nelly, Corder, uh, Nelly Corder, I feel like everyone says that, but um, she's an amazing player. But in the, in the men's game, probably Scotty at the moment, the way he's just dominating the game. And he also has like a kind of unorthodox swing with, and people are telling him to change it or whatnot. And I kind of like they just stuck with it. Uh, Lottie, just before we let you go, I have to tell you that your master's champions dinner, what you would serve was my favorite one that I saw, the baked <laughs> camembert with sourdough bread, roast chicken, roast potatoes, broccoli, carrots, Yorkshire pudding, served with gravy, <laughs> chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I went with just a roast, a traditional English roast dinner. Um, which Sunday roast. <laughs> well, per perhaps you can be having that as a celebratory meal after the final round on Saturday at Augusta National Lottie. Thank you so much for taking the time. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.